first oh, Phoenix. first to uh, play with the babies. Then. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> Can't hit her high pad yet. <laughs> no, no. And the passengers are going to be, yeah. I hope that baby doesn't cry. Totally, totally. Hello, this is Marco Cronin from Windermere Real Estate, and thanks for joining us at another episode of our Coffee Table Chat. Today I'm joined by Jacob Washburn of Cornerstone Home Lending, and we always try to give real examples of what our current clients are going through and sometimes people email us questions yeah. and this is a great way to get the information out. Um, today I have a common question that I maybe you can help me with a little bit. Yeah, so yeah. we have clients um, that have a really cool townhome down in Judkins Park neighborhood of mm -hmm. Seattle and they want to buy a different property and they might even keep that one for a rental but the bottom line their challenge is this they um, don't have enough equity in that property, or I should say enough money saved sure. to do the 20% okay. down payment, yeah. and yeah. they are fearing the dreaded mortgage insurance, mm -hmm. right? The PMI mm -hmm. that everybody right. wants to avoid. Right. Right. And so they can come up with about 5% down, maybe 10, mm -hmm. but what are their options? Sure. And, sure. you know, is there a way around MI, or yeah. is MI sometimes yeah. okay, well, or what? Yeah, let me, let's let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah. Um, MI definitely kind of has this connotation that's this terrible monster, no one don't ever come close right, to it kind of right, thing, right. where you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's good to avoid, but it's not really as bad as I think a lot of people think it is. Um, and really just this month, actually, most all the mortgage insurance companies have really reduced their costs. Um, and just the, the thought behind that is because um, since the uh, market crashed, uh, mortgages are obviously a lot harder to obtain. Yeah. And so people that have a mortgage today are much more qualified. And so mortgages now, they've performing, been performing so much better, the mortgage insurance companies haven't been having to make any kind of payouts. Therefore, they're able to reduce all their premiums. Okay. So, so for okay. example, I priced one out for someone today, they were doing 5% down, okay. and they can go up to a loan amount of 540,000 here in King County with 5% okay. down, okay. and they're only paying 140 bucks a month for mortgage insurance. You know, so so at the end it's of the day, it's not as much as it used to be. Totally, yeah. it's it, okay. it's a it you know a couple of years ago is about double that. Yeah, you know, yeah. so that's the first thing I would say is mortgage insurance. Um, it's it's not as uh, costly as it once was, okay. and with our market appreciating, you know, last couple of years, I mean, safe to say double digits yep. in the last couple of years each year. I think in most neighborhoods, yeah, you're right. Yeah. In, in most neighborhoods, is um, if you have buy a house today with five percent down and you look at the way the market is appreciating, you go from 5% equity to that 20% equity within a couple of years. Okay. And so in a lot of cases, um, we, we have clients right now that they have the ability to make a 10 or 20% down payment, but they'd rather keep that cash on hand because they know they're only gonna pay that mortgage insurance for a couple of years. Okay. So it, right now, especially, I think a lot of people just like to remain liquid, and that's a way that it helps them do that. Okay. Now, if they really, really, you know, they heard from their parents, don't ever have a mortgage mm -hmm. insurance, it's a waste mm -hmm. of money or whatever the scenario mm -hmm. might be, but they really don't want to have it. Yeah. What other options do they totally. have if they only have 5 or 10% down? Totally. Uh, we do, there's a handful of different ways we can approach that. Uh, one of the main ones is we have in what's called an 80-10-10 loan, okay. where you have an 80% first mortgage, a 10% second mortgage, and then you put 10% down. Uh, by splitting up those two mortgages, there isn't a the mortgage insurance requirement okay. on a monthly basis. So that's one option. Uh, we do have other uh, higher end jumbo loan options where you can put as little as 15% down and there's no MI included in, in those payments okay. um, at, at all. Okay. Um, and the last one that we've used where you can actually do what's called a single premium mortgage insurance cost where you can pay a one-time fee at closing to never have a monthly mortgage insurance cost. Okay. So, Again, every scenario is different. Every person's timing and goals are different, so we want to take a look at that. Uh, but there's definitely options to either uh, reduce um, or simply avoid uh, mortgage insurance. So could you compare options for buyers? I mean, I'm sure you, mm -hmm. you, you could, but sure. I guess, if could you say, okay, here's your MI option mm -hmm. to keep the mortgage insurance. Yeah. Here's what it would look like if we did an 80-10-10. And here's what your payment would be like yeah. if we, so, and then they can decide what's best. Totally, for them. totally. That, that's our standard pro, uh, okay. practice. Every time we meet with someone, that they're trying to determine, hey, you right. know what? Here's how much money I have. Uh, what should I do? Right. We get that question a lot. And, and uh, our perspective, we don't want people to just put every dime they have to their name into their home, right? We want to keep people make sure they're planning, uh, they're making the uh, investments other way, other places as well, their four hundred one k, their IRA, and so that's part of our practice to show them. 20% down, 80, 10, 10, monthly mortgage insurance, single premium, you know, what makes the most sense for them and we'll have a conversation around okay. that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome info, yeah. thank you. Yeah, so for a lot of clients out there, hopefully this is helpful. 
um, in summary, mortgage insurance might not be that bad, and it actually might be a cheaper option than if you went with a second mortgage in there. Um, and you don't necessarily have to wait to have 20% down, especially with our market appreciating as much as it is. If you wait a year to save 20%, you might be paying eight, nine, 10% more on the house purchase or the condo purchase that you're gonna do. So great. And, and not to mention interest rates are on, their, on the rise too over the True. next couple of years. So if you wait and prices go up and rates go up, it, you're paying more overall. So. Yeah, that's a good point. Thanks, yeah. Jacob. All right. Jacob from Cornerstone. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or drop me an email or go to my website, urbanmarco.com. We'll see you on the next Coffee Table Chat.